Welcome back to Marketing Champions here on Daily Ad Brief. I'm Howard Walpuff, your host. Again, we're talking about marketing around the country with great marketers. Today, we're in Memphis, Tennessee, and we're talking to Kenneth Worlds of 3i Creative Communications. And Kenneth, welcome to our conversation today. Thanks. Thanks for having me, uh, Howard. Uh, how's it going today? Uh, so far, so good. Uh, we are definitely celebrating here in, in Jacksonville, so all is well. Uh, wanted to learn more about you and really let's start with how you got started in marketing. Yeah, um, so I am a self-taught graphic designer. Um, I actually kind of got kicked out of college. Um, um, and during that time, I taught myself graphic design um, while trying to um, get back in school. And so um, I was in school for marketing um, transition to advertising um, and wanted to be more creative, but I saw a need on campus um, for a lot of the uh, organizations, entertainment groups, uh, a lot of the nonprofits in the area. Um, they couldn't find good quality graphic design. And so I ended up teaching myself um, Adobe, util utilizing the school's uh, a free Adobe uh, software, and was able to uh, build a reputation uh, in back in college around doing great graphic design. And so with that, I eventually, you know, uh, worked at different agencies, things of that nature, um, but really wanted to uh, create a, a purpose, right? Um, I moved into doing political um, design work, worked a lot of politics down in Memphis, and but realized there was no uh, mentorship to, to help me grow in this space. And so I packed my bags and moved to Washington, D.C. for a few years um, to learn, right? And so, but while I was there, I realized helping the community wasn't just political. It was nonprofit. It was education. It was healthcare and those things. And so when I was living in D.C., that's where I started 3 I Creative Communications to be able to help um, use creative uh, strategy and, and design to really improve communities and create a better tomorrow. And so that's kind of kind of how I got into uh, marketing. Um, like I said, I have a, 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 a educational background in marketing and uh, advertising and I um, worked at a few agencies, think tanks and things of that nature um, and worked in the digital field for a few years at different newspapers and things of that nature. Uh, but I really like um, being super creative and not using their creativity to uh, improve the lives of uh, people around the country. It's really an impressive story. You really, you, you found yourself at a, a, a crossroads at a young age and found a, an answer to, uh, to the direction you needed to push yourself in and created your own market for yourself and, and really developed as a, your talent's along the way. So it really is a, is a remarkable story and one that obviously you deserve to be a mentor for others as well to, uh, to, to share with every, everyone has a bump in the road college story that, uh, to, to, that really needs the right person to get them going. But um, you, you do a lot within the community and learned a lot with, within that, that time in Washington. What, what are, other, are some of your main focuses that you're working on right now with your clients? Yeah, so right now, like I said, uh, we as a social impact marketing agency, um, we work with nonprofit government agencies, uh, foundations, health institutions, education institutions. When we work with corporations, we work with their uh, DEI programs, their corporate social responsibility program. And so right now, uh, most of our work is, like I said, most of our work is to do good in the community. And some of the things that we're currently working on right now is, you know, like mo many agencies, how do we help our brands tell a, um, a story post COVID, right? Um, and how do we um, tell stories around DEI, uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion. And so a lot of people are reaching out to us um, to really help tell those uh, different stories. Um, COVID, uh, it definitely sh shook the world. And so a, a lot of the campaigns that we're uh, getting called for around vaccinations, um, things of that nature, how do we target um, low income neighborhoods and, and inspire them to, to protect themselves and um, 
as we try to get out of COVID. And so those are some of the big picture projects that we're working on. Um, but we're starting to see a rise into um, this technological world, right? Um, the metaverse, the blockchain, the things of that nature. So um, those something we, we're, we're, we're prepping for to plan and planning for um, as we uh, look into 2022. You really have a solid foundation of what you are providing your clients and the direction you want them to go in and succeed, which which really is fantastic because having those types of resources, especially within a nonprofit community who really has limited resources but but expansive needs, is is truly a, a, a gift when they find the right person who can really provide all that to them and uh, really helps in what you're developing within your community within your market. So we. Really appreciate you joining us and really sharing all the great things that you're doing and especially that wonderful got to pick yourself up and get yourself started story that you have in your in your career. Yeah, most definitely. Thank you for having me. And in any time, I, uh, this, this is the type of stuff that we like doing. We enjoy um, building a better tomorrow. And my story is one of many, um, but I, I definitely think it's something that um, we can learn from and grow from and be, you know, uh, uh, see a better, better county, uh, country, you know, and a better world. Well, thank you again for sharing all of it with us today. Thank you. And thank Thanks you for all for, me, and thank you all for joining us today as well. Uh, Kenneth really tells a great story. You, you have to figure out what is your passion. And sometimes it takes a little bump of the road to uh, really push you to, to, to figure it out in a, in a quicker way. But Learning how to, to work within your community, work how to, how to focus marketing for different types of companies can really grow a business. And he seems to have grown a great one with 3i Creative Communications. You can learn more here on Daily Ad Brief. But go on, have a great rest of today, and we'll see you next time on Marketing Champions.